This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Madison is in Los Angeles. Hi, Madison. Welcome to The Ramsey Show. Hi. Hi, what's up? Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, I am newly married, and we're just attempting to kind of figure out our fa- finances. We both have zero debt. Um, we own our cars and have about $125,000 sitting in a, in a savings account. So we are saving to buy a home. We're currently renting, but we are just not sure what to do with that money sitting in the savings account and if we should invest into some CDs or what your recommendation for that would be. Okay. CDs are certificates of deposit. It's not an investment. It's just a savings account. Mm -hmm. So should you put it in savings or should you put it in an investment? When are you going to buy? Hard to say with the prices uh, around here. They're not coming down, darling. Yeah. I would say probably four-ish years, four or five years would be our goal. Why? Because then we'd have enough money to put a good... You have $125,000. I know. How long have you been married? A couple months. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you're going to let leave money alone for less than five years, we don't recommend you play that you put money in mutual funds in the stock market. I would just tell you okay. to get, get, a, get a, a CD, get a, a high-yield savings account of some kind, uh, and, you know, try to make this, you know, there's some 4 or 5% stuff floating around out there right now. Let's try to make some of that right. kind of money. That's not going to make you rich. It's just a fancy parking spot for a really nice car. Right. That's all we're doing. It's okay. a, it doesn't cost you anything, but it doesn't make you anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so it's not a good long-term play, but it's a good short-term play because you're not going to lose anything. And right. you can add to it and, you know then buy your home as soon as possible. But don't wait around in Los Angeles, California, for prices to come down. If you walk around the streets of L.A., you will be hard-pressed to find anyone that remembers the last time prices went down. Right. Like, they don't, they're not alive. What would you say is a good good percent to put down on a house or home payment? Well, uh, we want you to be debt-free as soon as possible, so we like the 100% down plan, but you're in L.A., and mm-hmm. so putting down a good, strong down payment on your first home purchase, 5 or 10% is fairly normal. Uh, okay. But where the payment, we recommend the payment not being more than a fourth of your take-home pay on a 15-year fixed. What's your household income? This year will probably be around 200000 but my husband is in sales, so it's not consistent in that sense. Uh, and how old are you two? 24 and 25. You guys are doing so well. Congratulations. What does he sell? Thank you. Are you allowed to answer that on the radio? (laughs) He sells what? He sells meat. Meat. Good. Oh, he's not going anywhere either. No. No. Those Those weirdos selling. California. I was going to say, those weirdos selling oil chemical meat, maybe. The plastic meat. Exactly. Yeah. (laughs) So, wow, that's cool, Madison. So, yeah, a good, if you could put down 5 or 10%, the best thing is to put down 20%. Because right. you avoid PMI, private mortgage insurance, which costs you about seventy-five dollars a month per hundred thousand borrowed. All right, okay. and that doesn't—that's not insurance that gives you anything. That's insurance that pays the mortgage company in the event you get foreclosed on and they lose money. So you're buying mm-hmm. them an insurance policy because you didn't put down a big down payment. So if you can put down twenty percent, that is the best of all worlds on a fifteen-year fixed on a conventional mortgage where the payments no more than a fourth of your take home pay. Um, I think you guys are just getting started at life and getting started at this marriage and you're doing really, really well. You've got an extremely good start, uh, but it's just causing you some lack of confidence because you haven't done this stuff before and that's fine, but I don't think you got a four year wait here. And I'm going to tell you one more time, prices are not coming down. So if you're waiting on that, don't wait. But if you want to wait and I want to pile up some more money and this time next year buy, that's certainly not the end of the world, especially the way you guys have had the ability to save money. Congratulations. It's never occurred to me, Dave. Uh, whenever you get married, everyone just – you get the the stupidest advice from all corners of your life. Everyone's got an opinion and a thing you need to do. You need to make sure y'all are whatever. 
And most of the time when you're newlywed, you can't afford anything. And so that, that advice rolls off your shoulder, but they're in such a great position when somebody's saying, you got to buy it right now. You got to do this. Why are y'all driving those cars? Whatever. It can be real tempting to say, okay, well, I got to do something with this. And yeah. it's almost the same advice I'd give a newlywed couple that had nothing, which is just chill. Yeah. Work real hard and chill. And don't listen to your broke friends and your broke family. That's exactly right. Because they're broke because of their beliefs. And so what they believe is wrong. Why is that hard? Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about how to plan for retirement, visit RamseySolutions.com slash retire or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvester.